Welcome students. Under agriculture practices today we are going to learn new topic and that is irrigation. Why irrigation is very important and we are giving always proper importance to watering a plant. So these are the reasons. This is why we need optimum water for our plants. So why proper watering is important for crops. So first is it is important for the growth and development. Second, water is absorbed by the plant roots and along with the water, minerals and fertilizers are also absorbed. Now along with the water, plant roots are absorbing minerals and fertilizers also. So they are also important for healthy plant growth and for maximum yield. So water is important. Third, plants contain nearly 90% of the water and water is essential for germination. Under dry condition, seeds will not germinate. So it required proper amount of water, it required amount of moisture so that seed will germinate and nearly 90% of water will be there in the plant. So that is why also water is important. Fourth one, nutrients dissolved in water are transported to each part of the plant. Once we are dissolving the nutrients, fertilizer and micronutrients into water and we are watering the plant, that water will reach till the leaves and all the part of the plant and this is how the nutrients are being transported to each part via water. Fifth one, water protects the crop from frost and hot air current. So if weather condition is not optimum, in that situation also water will be helpful for the crop for their survival. Need to maintain proper moisture in the soil for healthy crop growth. So optimum water level in the soil is very very important. It is important for the nutrients, for the fertilizer. Water will save plant from, from the hot and cold condition and that is why the water and the irrigation is very very important for the water. So now let us learn about irrigation. So what is irrigation? The supply of water to crops at regular interval is called irrigation. All the fields and farms are not always near to the reservoir from where they will get the water. All the fields do not have the wells in the fields. So irrigation is the channel of the water or irrigation is a system via which government is providing water to each field and each farm so farmers will not face any scarcity of the water and they will get water at regular interval for the crop. The time and frequency of irrigation varies from crop to crop and soil to soil and season to season. It is depending upon crop like it's a paddy field or it's a crop of a wheat then water level will vary. Paddy fields require much much more water compared to wheat. Then soil to soil. Some of the soil, some soil are having a texture in which they can retain moisture for longer period of time. So their need of water is less. Whereas some soils are having a granular structure and sandy structure which will lose moisture very fast. So their water requirement is higher than the other type of soil. Then season to season. If it is a rabi crop or if it is a kharif crop or if you are taking in a season which season is a dry then water level will vary according to season. So that is how the water level is depending upon the crop season and type of soil. Sources of irrigation. Wells, tube wells, ponds, lakes, river, dams and canals are the sources of irrigation. Now there are two types of irrigation system. Now let us learn first about traditional irrigation system. We will see and we will learn via pictures that how this traditional irrigation system will work and how farmers are using them. So let us first talk about the moat or pulley system in irrigation. So it is a manual irrigation method. By this method water is directly taken out of well with the help of pulley and it is used to irrigate the field. As we can see here this is a pulley on the well and this farmer is every time taking out this pot from the well with the help of pulley and he is putting the water in this where this water will go to the farm. As we can see here these are the lines 
where the water will flow towards the crop and this is how they are watering the field so this system is known as mot or pulley system this is a complete manual system now our second irrigation system is chain pump so the chain pump is a type of water pump in which several circular discs are positioned on an endless chain one part of the chain dipped into the water as we can see here from the reservoir this chain is coming and here the pulley is there so as the filled buckets are coming here this pulley will help the bucket to get emptied and this water will go to the field so one part of the chain dipped into the water so this part will be dipped into the water and it will gets bucket filled with the water till the end so it is getting the bucket filled with the water and here we are watering the crop now our third irrigation system is dekhli and here in this system to extract water from well or irrigation dekhli irrigation system use rope or a container so as we can see one big log of wood will be there and that will be supported on another log of the wood one end of the log will have a huge rock or a weight so that it will help to take out the water from the well so once it will be down towards the earth the water filled bucket will come up one farmer will take the water from the bucket there will be no weight in the bucket this end of the log will go down and this other end will go up so if there are two ends a and b if there is a water then this will the bucket is filled with the water then a end of the log will come up and if it is emptied there will be less weight then it will go down into the well to get it filled so it is still utilized in many region and considered to be one of the most cost effective approaches as the farmer is putting the water here and he can water the field our next irrigation system is rahat so in this method the water is drawn off the well by animal animal like cow buffalo and oxen etc are connected to a wheel as they are moving around this log this water will get filled into the bucket and it will water the entire crop under irrigation now let us learn about modern methods of irrigation under modern method of irrigation there are two types of system first one is sprinkler system and second one is drip irrigation so here we are going to understand about sprinkler system so it is used for uneven land where sufficient water is not available so for those kind of land it is very useful how it will work so this is a working of sprinkler system as we can see here this is a well or a reservoir from that we are taking out a water with the help of electric pump and that water will be circulated into the pipes these pipes are connected to the rotating sprinkler once the water will flow from here it will go till the pipe till this rotator and it will comes out with a pressure so it is like a fountain and the water will fall on the crop as if it is rain so perpendicular pipes plus rotating nozzle on the top so this nozzle will fill the water on the crop water is allowed to flow through the pipes under pressure so it will sprinkle on the crop as if it is raining you must have seen this type of sprinkler system in a garden and in a lawn this is helpful for the loan and coffee plantation and several other crop fields where uneven land is there and sufficient water is not available now let us learn about second modern method of irrigation and that is drip system in this system water falls drop by drop directly near the roots and that is why it is known as drip irrigation drip by drip we are giving water to the plant and that's why it is known as drip irrigation and it is used for fruit plants garden and trees now what are the advantages of this drip irrigation system that water is not at all wasted so it is a boon and it is a very very advantageous method of watering a plant where water is very poorly available or water scarcity is there so this is one of the most advantageous method of irrigation